Tuesday evening, Elaine Salmon, a teacher at Peak to Peak Elementary School, was preparing her classroom for the new school year when an unexpected visitor showed up. When I came back, I opened my classroom door and there was this bear charging towards the door. <laughs> Salmon said she shut the door, locking the bear inside with her cell phone. So I uh, went over, went back to the office, closed the door, locked the bear in here, and then I went back to the office to call my husband, Ian. My first thought was, is it going to do any damage? I have a brand new floor, <laughs> you know, and I already have my decorations up. Thankfully, there was no damage to the room, except for one of the classroom's earthquake kits. We usually have an earthquake kit where they have um, snacks just in case of an emergency and went through that. When Salman's husband, Ian Sari, arrived, he knocked on the window to get the bear's attention. When my husband came, we started knocking on the window to distract it. And that's when it was go time. The thing is, it's sadly, you have to hold the door open for it to stay open. So when he was holding the door open, that's when uh, he called the bear's attention and then uh, the bear went by him like within a foot. Ah! Then the bear ran back into the mountains. Ah! School staff then reviewed safety measures with the first day of class about one week away. Salmon tells me the school has never had bears come nearby when students are around, but there are still precautions in place. We have a shelter in place protocol where when there's a bear or any wild animal around, we uh, lock the classrooms, make sure the kids don't get out until it's safe. And after all that, Elaine tells me the bear came back again, proving that maybe the furry friend loves salmon or her classroom.